After Lai swore in as party chair, pro-Taiwan associations on Wednesday held a joint conference to congratulate the newly elected chairman. They praised him for possessing the qualities of a good leader and hoped he could reform the DPP and repivot the party back to its founding principles. Chanting slogans of endorsement, heads of pro-Taiwan NGOs congratulate Vice President Lai ching on being elected DPP chair. He stands for justice, like late Justice Minister Chen Dingnan and former DPP chair Lin Yixiong. Late President Li Denhui once praised him, saying he's the best leader for the people of Taiwan. Taiwan's presidency over the last couple of years did of course deliver in some aspects, but because her political career didn't originate from the DPP, she's probably not as familiar with the DPP's founding principles. We hope Chair Lai will stand firmly by Taiwan's position and stand firmly against the mafia. Let us unite Taiwan and fight against China to protect Taiwan. The pro-Taiwan leader said Lai has what it takes to lead Taiwan. They also called on him to reform the DPP to make improvements and address disputes within the party. Those voices within the party must be heard. Of course, we should respect democratic procedures. I believe Lai once said it's okay to criticize and hold different opinions, but they should not be based on false accusations. I think that's most important. The NGO leader hoped that Lai can return to the DPP's liberal and pro-Taiwan roots. Recently, Taiwan independence hardliners have said that Lai's latest slogan of sustaining peace to protect Taiwan means he's softening his stance for Taiwan's statehood independent from the ROC. The head of the expat organization said that was not the case, saying that Lai has always worked for Taiwan's best interests. I wonder if pro-China media outlets are manipulating the issue. Even before he became vice president in 2020, he's been to the U.S. and communicated with U.S. administrative and legislative bodies and think tanks. He even communicated well with the Taiwanese expat community and gained our support. The president and vice president's cooperation is in Taiwan's best interest and in the U.S.'s best interest, and we're all on the same page here. Pro-Taiwan associations hold both high regards and expectations for Lai's leadership of the DPP.